With the rhythm of a ticking clock, our hearts pump life through us. Over time, Rick Brattel of Boise became keenly aware of that. His aortic valve replacement produced a loud click like this. And I got used to it when I heard that, I knew, okay, everything's going good. But then in 2014, this part here actually goes into the, your left ventricle of your heart. And it sets in like this. Rick got his left ventricle assist device, basically an artificial heart. I had no pulse and no blood pressure. A walking zombie. No heartbeat, no clicks. So we bought some clocks to pick up that noise, make the noise timing like that. It was very comforting. The clocks ticked and talked for 18 months until Rick and his wife Susie got the call that a donor heart had been found. It was time for a transplant. And my emotions went from, uh, from here just skyrocketed like, oh my goodness, it got a heart, it got a heart. And at the same time it was, oh man, someone just died. That somebody was a young man named Manmeet. Rick has trouble voicing what the life-saving gift means to him. That's a tough one. It's real tough. Because he felt guilty. There's no way of explaining it. Until he met the donor's family and they told him their loss was not his fault. But once they said that, it was like, okay, now I can go to the next step. Which was pure gratitude for him and Susie. If it wasn't for them, my husband would wouldn't, not I wouldn't be, be here. Rick says he felt better physically not long after the transplant. It was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is the way it's supposed to be. And mentally, after getting this piece of information from Manmeet's family. The name translated, Manmeet translated into English is loving heart. And when they said that, it was just like, you know, tears started running down like crazy because, you know, loving heart and here I've got his heart. And it's like, oh. Just another, another way you, you, you can't explain it. You can't, you can't say thank you enough. The clocks have now ticked and talked a year and a half since the transplant surgery and taken on a different meaning for Rick. Now that he has a heartbeat again. No matter what you're doing that time, it keeps on ticking. It keeps a, a constant reminder that, uh, well, I'm on borrowed time too. Extra time. In Boise, Doug Petcash, Idaho's News Channel 7.